the it, Southman. <laughs> the Westman. Or is it the Eastman? Wait, that's where my dad worked. Actually, no, that's uh, the bank that I go through, Eastman Credit Union. Well, that's because Actually, it's associated with the place where my dad worked, which is a chemical plant. Yeah. Um, Responsible for making one of the cities near here smell like uh, interesting ash. things all the time. Yeah. Which right now, our city smells like interesting things because for some fucking reason, the landfill near here has been wafting everywhere recently. Well, what I did remember is that what I was trying to say was actually the Northman. Huh, <laughs> the Northman. So, here's here's the thing with, uh, with I know who's in this. I know uh, Stellan Skarsgård is in this. Uh, <laughs> Related to Bill? Yes, his uh, older brother. Uh, also, Stellan Skarsgård. Infamous for playing a Viking uh, vampire in the show True Blood. Yeah. Eric Northam. Never saw more than the first couple episodes of that show. Well, needless to say, ever since that show came out, God, almost... Yeah, it's been 15 years ago. He has been a common staple of, like, every... Like, every woman... Like, every... Like, adult... Like, most adult women like him because he's six foot five long blonde hair he has absolutely near perfect features on his face and he's jacked to the freaking gills i mean i see i see the dude and that's the thing every time he went to conventions and stuff like that you had women throwing their panties at him and everything like leaving their hotel room keys and all that and he's just like I, I appreciate the thought, but I'm I'm actually like going over here, because he he lives a very meager lifestyle. He doesn't do anything that's outrageous. He's just he's just a dude. But here he's playing what looks like a Viking warrior, in which that's been an obsession here recently as well. Viking like Viking myth mythos and Viking stories being told. Like the Vikings uh, television series. I think that's the one big one that really set it off. I know that there were other things. God of War. Yeah, God of War. Uh, The new Assassin's Creed Creed game. Uh, There's also been other films and other... uh, Also... uh, um, There's been a trend of dudes getting Viking haircuts for some reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. With like the uh, fairy twists and the braids. One of our roommates has even done that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kate uh, had like a Viking style haircut for a while. <clears throat> also, Hellblade, Hellblade, the picked were a uh, were an offshoot of uh, mm. Viking culture. So that's another thing. And uh, this film is made by the same guy, Robert Eggers, who did The Witch. Mm. So it's him instead of telling a horror story, telling a historical epic, and. I'm interested to see what it has to offer. Let's go ahead and get this up on screen. And uh, fun fact about The Witch, that's one of those movies where I went to see it the first time and I was like, this is god-awful. Why does everybody like it? And then I gave it another chance and I was like, why did I dislike it the first time? <laughs> I was like, this movie was awesome. Yeah, probably probably uh, you were in a bad mood or something. Uh, I don't know. I think it helped that I watched it with subtitles the second time because the, the sound mix in the theater wasn't the greatest for like understanding what everybody was saying. Ah, uh, okay. Especially with their accents in the film. Well, anyway. We it have, is a very good movie. We have this here. We have the trailer here. Let's give it a watch and see what we think. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Now, behold... Ethan Hawke? The king, my lady. The king. Okay, cool, cool. Your fate is set and you cannot... Oh, shit. Willem Dafoe. How oh, I've missed you, my son. One day this kingdom will be yours. Thank you, father. My king. Okay. So it's a 
revenge tale, basically. Yes. Good one. The final what was stolen from me. And what is that? The kingdom. You must choose between kindness for your kin or hate for your enemies. That girl, I've seen her in a lot of stuff recently. Uh, Anna Taylor Joy. She's she's been in a lot. Coming to break their minds. Wasn't she in The Witch too? I think so. Yeah. yeah. She was like the main girl in The Witch. I will avenge you, father. I will avenge you, father. Ooh, that was cool. God, imagine that looking at you, coming at you. Blood-soaked, blonde-haired beast. Jesus. Oh, Bjorn. Yeah, that looks pretty fucking cool. Yes. I'm down to see that for sure. April. So it's coming out in April. Also, uh... I have to go see it for my birthday, I guess, maybe. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Also, uh, my birthday's on the 27th, so it'll be out a little bit before my birthday. I don't know the exact day, but uh, is that Bjork? Because I, I, with the headdress and uh, the shells and everything, I couldn't tell. But I wouldn't it, be able to tell either way. I, well, Bjork is like one of the best musical artists from like the 90s. She's uh, noise rock, and uh, yeah, I never got into her. I just know that every time I saw her, she, it was like it was kind of like the. Uh, it seemed like Lady Gaga was inspired by her, possibly. Very much so, yes. Like whereas Lady Gaga, she always had costumes and makeup to where I could never actually tell what she actually looked like, you know. Well, Bjork, the thing with her is that she, uh, you know, she was art rock and everything like that, and everyone loved her work, but she was very private with her life and everything. She actually assaulted a reporter. Uh, who, you know, she had a very, like, bad time with her child when she was trying to come through uh, customs, and she got here to the States, and a reporter pulled back the uh, the bonnet on the, on the stroller to try and snap a picture of the baby, and she just leapt at him and just, like, like, basically clawed his face really bad. Understandable. Oh, yeah. I hope she got away with it. She did. <laughs> <laughs> All she had to do was issue an apology and say that she would never do it again. And well, she would totally do it again if somebody, if somebody oh, tried to do honestly, that. Honestly, a mother thing. protecting nobody her would, child. Nobody absolutely. would blame her. Like a mother protecting her child. It's absolutely. completely inappropriate on that reporter's part. Very inappropriate. And I hope that I hope that that dude learned his lesson. And I hope he's permanently scarred for life because of that. Don't mm -hmm. be a paparazzo piece of shit. Yeah. But yeah, the visuals. The people, like the actors, the dude, the hair, the set design, the like, the costumes, like everything just looks so damn good. And it has a style to it that honestly, it's it it feels like Hollywood or it feels like I, I shouldn't say Hollywood because well, it's Hollywood so is not the filmmaking mecca anymore. Right. Like, oh, I mean, The Witch has a style to it as well, as does The Viking Show, and it feels somewhere between those two. Yeah. Like, I can tell it's got his touch on it, uh, similar to The Witch, but, like, at the same time, like, it's it's got that same kind of vibe that The Viking Show had early on that made me like it a lot as well. Yeah. Which, I mean, I, I'm not just saying that because there are Vikings in it. I'm saying it as, like, a stylistic <laughs> choice, like a color palette choice and stuff like that, you know? And who is this um, here with the skull? Is that? I can't tell who that is. Oh, uh, you know who he reminds me of? Who? What is your name? Oh, God. <laughs> no, that's him right there. What where his eyes is your favorite white. color? <laughs> he cut his head off, and now he inherited his powers. He's just like, what do you seek? <laughs> what is your quest? He's like, I seek the Holy Grail. <laughs> But yeah, this this looks brilliant. Yeah, I like the little bit of mysticism and stuff that's thrown in as well. Well, yeah, Viking mysticism. I mean, that spear throw, though. <laughs> just, I'm just like this spear, that guy's head. <laughs> He's like spear. Yeah. Gotta love it, dude. I. L 
Also, right there, imagine that coming at you. A six foot five monster carrying a sword covered in blood and an axe. Yeah, I'd be running the other way. I would be like, I'd just be like, <laughs> hello, kind sir, please come in. Please enter my home. Don't kill me, please. Absolute beat. Also, I like that shot too with the dudes in front of the fire. Oh yeah, the right there. I think actually, hold on. Them holding the shield. I in think the that's room. Odin. I think that's a representative representation of Odin. Could be. Oh. Why does it look like she has braces in that picture? That's what. That's that what shot. I thought too. Oh, they're markings? like little black lines drawn on her teeth. Okay. Oh, okay. They're markings. Yeah. It made me think she had braces on from there. And I'm like, that's an interesting thing to not edit out and post, if so. Yeah. But damn, dude. Yeah, if the movie's anywhere as cool as the trailer, I'll say that'd be pretty damn cool. I agree. Anyway, we got to move on from this. This was the Northman official trailer. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and hopefully we will see you all in the next one. So until then, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you, everybody. Peace out.